uh, the Chargers did today. It's actually a big, uh, like Chase Daniel, Joe Lombardi, they kind of brought it in from the Saints and I guess they've always done it. And so um, after a walkthrough, we do it every day. And that's just something that, you know, I was used to. I think it's really important to learn uh, to see other defenses. And, um, you know, you go up against the same defense and it kind of gets repetitive um, over the past couple of weeks. But uh, it's, it's nice to see a new defense to, to be able to put in a little bit of a game plan, uh, study some film and, and kind of get prepared for going into the season. Yeah, that's always a tough situation. I, I always stand with Coach Taylor, whatever he decides. And um, as long as you're getting reps in practice, I think that's what's most important. And those reps out there today are, are super valuable. And, and I've been able to learn so much going against the 49ers and even going against our defense. Um, so being able to go have those live reps, I think that's huge for me. How do you like the intensity that your offense is showing today? I think it's huge. Uh, you know, to start a little slow, but to bounce back and seven on in some of those red zone periods, um, I think it showed a lot of uh, you know, toughness dealing with adversity. And, you know, we might not always start perfectly, but uh, for us to come back and kind of battle through, I thought it was really good. Yeah, I, I think it's all about execution. And we had these certain plays that we wanted to get run today, and, and I thought we did a good job. And, um, you know, obviously there's some good throws, some bad throws, uh, some good execution, some poor execution, but that's what practice is all about. And, and we're going to watch the film later today. We've got a bunch of, a bunch of meetings to go over that and, and to get better. And, um, you know, next time we set out on the practice field, uh, hopefully we'll execute a little bit better. Uh, well, obviously, you know, it's a tough situation when you're down a couple offensive linemen. Uh, shout out to Trey Pipkins, who's actually having a, a baby today. Um, so, you know, we're down a couple offensive linemen, but the guys that stepped up, uh, I thought they did a great job. And uh, some young guys, some rookies going against some, some pretty good guys on defense. And that front seven for the 49ers is no joke. They're the real deal. And, um, you know, obviously tough, but uh, love the way they battled, though. No, there was no frustration. It was, we're going to get it next time, and uh, the guys never gave up. And, and I, we know that we got the right guys out there to execute. And, uh, you know, that front, front five of guys have battled all camp. And, um, you know, legs get heavy, but uh, I know they're going to show up and they're going to give their best. Justin, obviously Donald Parham didn't practice today, but yesterday you hit him with that long touchdown. How have you seen him develop over training camp so far? He's become quite uh, the route runner. Yeah. You know, he's, he's done such a great job stepping up and being able to run so many different routes. And uh, he's not limited to just tight end routes. Sometimes we put him on the outside and uh, the things he's, he's able to break, contain, leverage, you know, he's, he's done a great job. And um, as athletically gifted as he is, we need to take advantage of that. Yeah, I mean, just how impressive is the way he moved at 6'8", 6'9"? He's, he's very fast. And, and like you guys saw on that, uh, on that route, you know, he's able to break away from some guys. And as long as we're able to get him the ball, put the ball high, um, you know, I think he's pretty tough to guard. What was your biggest takeaway from your second uh, um, there's, there's so much room to grow at quarterback. You know, it's an awesome opportunity because there's so much more about the game that you keep learning about. And um, as much as I think I know, there's always more. And whether that's in protections and defensive coverages and fronts and, and the way the linebackers line up and the way they, they disguise their blitzes, um, just being around Coach Shane Day, he, he's taught me so much about their defense and our defense and um, learning a lot about them. It's huge. It, just to be able to go up against those guys and uh, to see how they fly around the ball. And, um, you know, they got some pretty talented guys on that defense. And didn't get to watch much of, of our defense today, but, uh, you know, I'm sure we'll watch the film. And it's always great to, to compete, to have fun and learn and um, in an environment where we're pushing each other. Um, hopefully, we're making each other better. Well, I think, I think a lot of teams do a great job of disguising. Um, you know, I think our defense does a great job in being able to see safety rotation and, and have a, a good feel for that and being able to take what the, the defense gives you um, and having a plan. And I think just the more times you see it, the better you're going to get. When you watch film, do you watch everything? Like, do you watch offense, defense? Every, like, even if it's not you at quarterback, do you still watch all that stuff? No, mainly we just watch our reps going against the defense. Uh, but if we have in, time in between meetings and we're sitting in the quarterback meeting, uh, Chase and I or Easton will put it on and just watch it. Uh, 
Unfortunately, didn't get too much time uh, with him other than the quarterback competition, but uh, saw some of the throws he's made the past couple of days, and uh, I mean, I think he's really impressive. He's a very physical guy, um, very fast, able to kind of go up and get get the ball. And um, I think I think he's really talented, and he wants to get better. He's out here every day with me and, and throwing routes, catching him. And sometimes I have to tell him it's time to get off the field. You know, you gotta you gotta play this Sunday. Um, but he's done a great job, and uh, he's learning it, picking up really quickly. I've I've kind of heard some stories about him, and that's that's exactly what we were expecting of him. And we knew he was going to be a hardworking kid, and. Uh, you know, I texted him immediately and just he was super excited to come out here and I was too. Just anytime we can get to throw with each other, I think that's huge and um, been very pleased with his performance so far. You shared a moment with George Kittle after practice. And did he say anything to you? you guys, uh, what, anything funny that he said to you? No, I just told him that I was a big fan. I saw one of the reps he caught yesterday, uh, this cash pump, and he went up and, and got the ball over someone. But uh, just an impressive play. And I just told him that good luck this year. Excited to watch him and hope he stays healthy. Yeah, I, I think it's it's been very crucial. Uh, you know, he's such a smart guy, and uh, having him, Shane Day, and, and even Drew Brees when he's come around a little bit, uh, that Saints offense that he's brought in here is is, is definitely the real deal, and uh, it's definitely pretty tough. But been able to try and do my best to learn it and pick it up, and uh, obviously going to make mistakes here and there. But uh, having him in the film room teaching me and, and kind of learning through these mistakes have been huge. Well, you mentioned not you mentioned trying not to overload you with information. I know that like you just need to know for being able to some multiple target formations. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's it's kind of trial by fire. You have to go in there. And you're going to make mistakes, and and the way that we installed everything, it was all on the front end. And uh, you know, obviously tough situations. You're going to make mistakes, but you're going to get better from them. And uh, you're going to watch the film. And as the weeks go on, it's going to seem like less and less um, until the point now where it's just you know it's second nature. He's calling the play. We're going in the huddle. Um, we're going to still make mistakes here and there, but that's what practice is for. And I, I think that's the great thing about going to get up against the 49ers today and uh, learned a lot from them. Yeah, and I think that's the great thing about practice. And, you know, he's not too worried about each individual rep. It's, you know, go play kind of like a game. And you're going to be able to play. You're going to come off the sideline. You're going to talk about it. And that's what, like, the meetings are for after practice and talking about through the film and, and all that stuff. But uh, when you're practicing, you want to be focused. You want to be dialed in. Um, and then after time, you can you can talk about all you want. Last Saturday, did you get a little impatient at all being on the sideline and having to watch the game? Yeah, it's, it's always tough. You know, I, I love competing, and I love being out there. And, um I was just thankful for the opportunity to be able to cheer on Easton and Chase uh, to, to be supportive no matter what I had to do. But uh, I'd, I'd love to help them out in any way I can. When was the last time you stood on the sideline to watch the game? That's a good question. Um, I think my sophomore year of college, I broke my clavicle and was out for a couple of weeks. Next question. <laughs> It's actually Chase. Chase Daniel was the big guy into that, and, and I was kind of making a joke on, on that with him, but uh, just upset I missed the field goal.